What is up, everyone? I am fresh back from Philadelphia. Super Saturday 2023. Guys, that was uh, last weekend. That was the 10th and 11th of November 2023. If you don't know, Super Saturday is put on by the Mid-Atlantic Auto Car Care Alliance, a fantastic group of people. I can't thank the people that put this event together enough because there's a ton of work that goes on behind the scenes that I don't even know about. Before we get started, mark your calendar because November 15th and 16th of 2024 is going to be the Super Saturday event again. This is in Philadelphia. Mark your calendar. I'll put a link in the description so you can see uh, the Mid-Atlantic Auto Car Care Alliance uh, Super Saturday page. So be sure to check that out. Now, if you haven't been to a larger training event, I got to tell you, I don't think you realize what you're missing. Going to any training is going to help benefit you as a technician. There's always going to be little things you pick up here or there. But when you go to an event like this, you have to realize it's a sacrifice. You're sacrificing your time, money, travel time, family time. You make a sacrifice to get out there and get some training. But the part that many people don't realize until they attend an event like this is the networking. When you meet people across the country, or actually across the world, that are in the same industry as you, dealing with the same struggles, up and downs, you can help them out, they can help you out, you network, you make friends that last a lifetime. I want to shout out to Keith DeFazio. Back in 2019, he pushed me to come to Super Saturday 2019, and I did. Uh, it was a life-changing event. Since then, I've developed friendships with people across the country that literally will stop by my house and say hello if they're in the neighborhood, right? Very cool, and vice versa. So you will develop friendships and relationships, um, and these can be contacts when you have trouble, ups and downs, you can help each other out, and that is irreplaceable and priceless. Now getting into this event, uh, just so you know, we know how to eat around here. We had some good breakfasts, good lunches, good times. All this was breaking bread and networking, all that good stuff. All kinds of classes going on. I'm gonna go ahead and do you a rundown of the classes that I saw on the first floor. We did have a couple classrooms on the second floor, guys. I didn't get uh, pictures of those. I apologize about that. Now, I'm gonna go over the classes that I attended this year. One of the benefits of the classes that I attended is we had actual real books. It's really nice to get an actual manual or training book uh, when you go to these events. You can't replace it. It's really nice to thumb through. You can always remember what the page was on something that you heard that helped. So I attended first Rick White's uh, leadership class. Rick did a great job of explaining life lessons and, and leadership values and, and just working with the class, phenomenal. Be sure to check him out. I do have an interview with Rick and a few other people at the end of this uh, section, so be sure to check that out at the end of the video. Friday evening, there was a uh, evening session, which this is really good stuff. We had Donnie Seifer from uh, Nastif. He was uh, talking about some of the changes that are coming to our immobilizer scan tools in the near future, so be sure to pay attention to to the NASTIF website. Also, I'll put a link to that in the description. Uh, we're going to be some things changing because people are stealing cars too easy, I think, is what's going on. But he had a great little segment he did. And also, Friday evening, we had Hawken Light. He led the Shotgun Diagnostic Roundtable discussion. If you haven't checked out his online stuff, be sure to check out Shotgun Diagnostics and uh, take a look at what he has going on. Fantastic stuff. We had a roundtable where he had other technicians uh, share their stories. I mean, real life stories, challenges, case studies from your peers in the automotive industry trying to fix cars just like we are. And that was a fantastic uh, get together. He also had a giveaway where they were giving away some different tools from Topdon. Topdon uh, gave yours truly a top scan. I won this tool. This is pretty cool. I got this top scan. I actually got the chance to plug this into my uh, transit the other day, and I was surprised how much data it pulls. I mean, it, it basically does a complete vehicle DTC scan on my 
my 19 Transit, I was um, happy to be able to get into all the modules. I was like, wow, very impressive. I haven't even scratched the surface of this, but it links up on your cell phone. You can graph data right on your cell phone, save the recording. I'll probably make a video of this in the future. So that was pretty cool stuff. Saturday morning, we woke up and had breakfast. Fantastic time over there. You can't beat some bacon. And my first class on Saturday was Isaac Rodell's uh, 6.7 Cummins Operation and Diagnosis class. Uh, Isaac is super knowledgeable. He went into depth about a lot of the specifications and uh, repair procedures and things that you may not know about a 6.7. I don't work on a lot of diesels except for after treatment calls. That's what I usually get calls on whenever the after treatment stuff, the DEF system isn't working. So I learned a lot about some intricacies and more uh, precise stuff that I didn't know about before. So thank you, Isaac. Great class he had there. Next up was Saturday lunch. And that was a good time for some more networking. Guys, like I said, this is irreplaceable. You can't beat the relationships and people you talk to uh, having lunch. And we had the trade show going on, so you could walk around and check out the trade show at any time. I do have some more interviews at the end on that. Saturday afternoon, I attended a scan data analysis class by Richard Falco and Bryn Klein. These guys did a really good job with this class. It was not so much about trying to diagnose uh, DTC or whatever, looking at a specific problem. It was like if we know we have a problem and we go for a test drive, look at the data and only the data to try to get an angle on fixing the problem. These guys did a really good job with the material presented, but the bonus here is we had a trivia class. I'd say the second half of the class was a trivia round where we got into small groups, we worked together to look at data on a scan tool without having a code necessarily or even knowing what the complaint was, but looking at the scan data, you know, we're talking about our, our loads and fuel trips and throttle position and all that stuff and fuel rail pressure all kinds of good stuff and diagnosing it just from the scan data that is a um, uh, taking your diagnostics up a level and it was fun these guys made it interactive and that was even better on top of that AES Wave sponsored this class and gave the winning group of the trivia section AES Wave U lead test kits these are fantastic kits I've given them away before I use these every day but uh, more importantly be be sure to check out AES Wave. These guys do a great job of providing our industry with the electrical diagnostic equipment that we need and also training, all kinds of good stuff. They got it going on. Be sure to check out the link in the description. Also, AES Wave gave out a U-scope at this class, so that was fantastic. It happened to be a gentleman in my group. His name was Phil. He won the AES Wave U-scope, and that was great. So, that was the classes I attended. As you saw, there were a lot of other things going on here. The networking in the evening, hanging out with people across the uh, country, all getting together, talking, sharing information, sharing stories, sharing knowledge. You can't beat it. And on top of that, if you come to these events, you will develop some friendships that you never would have uh, experienced before. Here are a few interviews I had. Not too many people wanted to get on the camera, but that's okay. What's up everybody? I'm here with Sedell from DTEC Engineering. If you haven't checked out Sedell's YouTube channel, be sure to check it out. I'm going to give him a chance to give us a little explanation about uh, what's going on there. Can you tell us more about your channel, Sedell? Yeah, it's, uh, it's called DTEC Engineering. Uh, it's obviously on YouTube. Uh, it's hard to find sometimes because there are a couple other different DTEC Engineering's on there. Uh, best, easiest thing I tell people, do DTEC BMWs. <laughs> I do a lot of Europeans. Uh, a lot of diagnostics, so uh, that's the easiest way to find me if you can't <laughs> find me with DTEC Engineering. And you deal with diagnostics, is that correct? Diagnostics yeah. and... A lot of diagnostics, troubleshooting, um, electrical, uh, a lot of engine drivability, diags, uh, stuff like that. So. Okay. Um, so we can find you at DTEC Engineering. I'm going to go ahead and put the link in the description, of course. Uh, Sadel, can I ask you a question about uh, learning experiences for you? Like, when you're learning as a technician, when do you learn the most? I mean, one of my uh, students, actually, uh, uh, Avery Martin, he's, he asked me to ask that question to anybody that would talk on camera. He's like, hey, when, when does the most learning happen? Like, is it when you're, I don't know, you uh, fill in a blank. For me, probably when I run into a hard trouble car and I've got to do a lot of research and basically just sit down in front of the computer, break down the system, how it works, what, what it takes for it to work properly and then uh, I think piecing all those, uh, putting all those pieces together 
is where I learn the most. So while when you're getting your butt kicked to try to get out of the situation, that's okay. when you learn. <laughs> so, so when you're when, when you're deep in it, right? When I'm deep in it. When you can't you can't figure it out, and you just gotta you know read up, do your research, all that, and then apply that to the trouble car to get out of the situation. Any recommendations for any technicians on the borderline about actually attending a larger event like this? Um, obviously, it's a, it's a must. Come to any training, any local, uh, big ones like this, or ASC, which we've gone to, obviously Vision and stuff like that. But you just need to get out there, get some training, start building a, a, a basis of uh, being able to apply that in the real world. Awesome. Well, Sadell, thank you for your time, and All right. good to see you, brother. <laughs> All right, thank you. <laughs> so, guys, we have Michael with Oasis Scientific. He has all the magic bore scopes, in my opinion. Lots of good stuff, articulating heads. If you guys check out what's going on here, this thing just goes all, all which ways. Look at the joystick that he has here. This is pretty amazingly. There you go. Perfect. Yeah, can go iPhone, iPad. If you look inside here, just put it in, yep. and turn, and turn, and then turn back. This one here. So you can go in straight down into the cylinder head here and rotate it back, so you can see the top of the valves. Or yep. should I say the bottom of the valves, uh, I guess. Yep. But that's a great view of what that tool can do. Good stuff. Be sure to check out Oasis Scientific. And that's uh, .com, right? Yep. yep. Uh, OasisScientific.com. Yep. Thank right. you, Michael. Thank you. And how are you? Hey, guys. I am with Rick White, uh, 180 Biz here. Guys, I am in the class that Rick is uh, instructing on leadership. Fantastic material he's sharing with us. I'm really having a good time actually learning more about myself than, than anything else and yep. how I can apply that to my business. But can you tell me a little more about what you do, Rick? Well, basically, we've been helping uh, shop owners get out of the shop, back out of the shop and into their lives. You know, there's so many shop owners out there. They, they're going in real early, staying late, missing out on family time. And our goal is to help them get a life back. Uh, we've been doing it now for 20 years. It's something we love greatly and we're really happy to be able to help. Um, if you ever have a situation and you want to talk about it, uh, we actually have a shop owners round table second Thursday of every month and it's absolutely free. 7 to 9 p.m. Eastern, second Thursday of each month. Um, and uh, we can, uh, if, we'll get you a link there or something. Uh, actually, if you look at the first brochure, they can do it to see you. Guys, I'm hoping if you got your uh, phone or tablet out there, you could probably scan that hey, off the screen. How you doing? Thanks a lot for your time, Rick. And like I said, 180biz.com. Yeah, give us a call. We'd love to talk to you. All right, guys, we got Matt Ulrich. Is that how you say your name, Matt? Yeah, Ulrich. All right, Ulrich from Texas. He's all the way here from Texas. This is the furthest person I've seen so far, I think. Yeah, I think so. I've heard that too. Like people over at the trade show told me there's nobody further than Texas. So. Well, yeah. So <laughs> he, he came a long way to this uh, training event. What do you think so far, Matt? What well, classes you've been to? I like it. I've, I have been to the German car class with Hawkon, and um, that's it so far. I just got in this morning. And, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, do you have any, uh, uh, like I asked the question about when do you learn, and what, what do you feel you learn about, like, or when do you learn in uh, your experience? I would say usually it's when something stumps you kind of and then it's not just like in and out and you really have to like read about it and do some extra research and right take some you know dig a little deeper and yeah that that sums it up I think I mean that's probably the answer I think a lot of us have is when we get our tails handed to us we're digging Pretty deep much, trying yeah. to fix a car or you know it's it's always those situations do you ever listen to um, Sean Tipping's uh, diagnostic podcast have you ever checked I, it out? I think I've checked it out before. Okay. Uh, I know I've you know, listened to some of them, but I don't have much time. Usually if I have a far drive or so from job to job, it's a couple hours or so. And okay. Yeah. Well, I, yeah, he's got a great podcast, and his podcast, he always tells us the stuff that is pushing us, uh, you know, that stretches and gets us uncomfortable out of our comfort zone that's making us grow as technicians. I truly believe that too, you know, so. Yeah, that's pretty true. But uh, what classes you got the rest of the weekend here uh, tomorrow? I got the uh, EEPROM class, and um, what else I do have? I don't remember now. Yeah, that's okay. That's <laughs> I've been okay. up since one in the morning. I'll flip this over, here, so. see if it says EEPROM, and then you got uh, 
Oh, pressure. Oh, the, yeah, the pressure. Oh, with Brandon Steckler? Yep, 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 that's yep, a good that's class. It, that's that's a great class. It's all about exposure, in my opinion, too, guys. It's, even if you come to these events and you feel like you're going to be overwhelmed, just soak it all in, and you know you're going to miss out on a lot of it. You can't remember everything. It's just learning by exposure, too. So, Matt, thanks a lot for your time, right. brother. I Thank appreciate you. it. No Talk problem. to you soon. So as you see, this was a fantastic event. Once again, mark your calendar. November 15th and 16th, 2024 will be Super Saturday, right? I will be there. I will hope to see you there. Bye-bye.